Is this the look? Hello guys, what is up, it's Mace. Welcome back to Blazed and Glazed. I feel like I've been wearing, oh, could that even be? I feel like I've been wearing a face mask for like the intro of my past like five videos, but it is what it is. I'm just trying to like make my migraine go away with a cold ass sheet mask. Anyway, welcome to the video. Welcome to the vlog. I am gonna take you guys on a couple of days in my life with me. This is kind of an eventful week. I'm doing my first meetup this week, my first flea market this week. I have a lot of work shit that uh, I have to do this week. A couple of packages to unbox, lots of shit to show you guys. It's gonna be a good one good vibes so if you are new to my channel and you enjoy thrifting fashion life you know being yourself and letting your sparkle shine out your damn booty hole shine out your damn booty hole i don't know where that accent went where it was going what journey it was taking but hit subscribe down below and this is gonna be a fun ass week filled with clothes and shimmies and yas okay i'm gonna go get ready for the day and i'll see you guys in a bit so i was like yeah i'm gonna wear that and then So I've never really shown you guys this before, but this is my bed. My room's like kind of messy right now, but my bed frame is like my favorite thing in the world. It's this like, I don't know, like squishy. Well, it's called a soft frame. Like the brand uh, that I got it from is literally called soft frame. It's like a little blob that goes around your bed. And I love the vibe of it. Plus I don't hit myself on it and like hurt myself anymore. Oh, let's see what the weather is today. Let's see what the weather is today. I see sun. I see sun. Shake. No, I think show it. Yeah. Yeah. You're giving us versatility. She's giving us just metal and all. These are your two sides. <laughs> Come to our sale, yeah. we'll have just two items, but so they're both really good. <laughs> It is Tuesday and my office is even more of a clothing packed fucking mess than normal. I have my closet sale, well I guess like pop up flea market, meet up extravaganza happening this weekend at the Los Feliz Flea. I've talked about it in a couple of my videos but if you guys haven't heard me talk about it yet, this Saturday, August 28th, Los Feliz Flea, I'm literally bringing this entire rack of clothing with me and some five and $10 bins and I'm just gonna be there hanging out with my friends Mackie and Madeline from the Sis List who were over yesterday. We literally spent the day like going through our clothing, organizing everything, tagging everything, pricing everything, doing everything we need to do to get ready for the sale on Saturday. So I am very excited. I have never sold at a flea market before. Quite a newbie. Uh, this is probably going to be my first and last time ever doing it, but I'm very excited to meet any of you guys that can come. I'll be putting like all of the details, more details on my Instagram at Macy Lenny. Uh, but for now, I thought I would do a little unboxing. I did promise that at the beginning of the video. I have two packages, one that came the other day and one that came yesterday, and they're fashion focused. They're fun. They're sexy. They're end of summer fabulous ass goodies so the first thing oh my god okay realizing that my dirty ass closet is open not that it helps much to close this but i'm trying guys i'm trying okay i will go through this rack here in a couple minutes and show you some of like the fabulous things that i'll be selling at the flea but first the sexy ass bathing suit that was sent to me by banshee swim they reached out to me on instagram and the reason it caught my eye is because listen to this dm they sent me they said banshee was sustainably founded about a year ago on the basis of doing things your own way nipples out <laughs> we love showcasing interesting unique faces and bodies our suits are made for the unapologetically bold and uh, look how good this little mailer is that they put in the package both of these stunning fabulous humans and then they actually sent me some stickers that literally have titties on them like I cannot show you right now because they are truly just titties titties out for everyone we love it and the swimsuit that they sent me 
Oh my fucking god, guys. I am so excited about this. I, I love it so much. I will put try on clips, obviously, because it's way too hard to tell what it looks like. But it is this brown color that I think is new, uh, that they maybe just launched recently, actually. And it's literally a thong booty bottom, which I don't have any swimsuits that are like an actual, like, kind of thong vibe. It doesn't go like fully up the ass crack. It just like lays, lays delicately covering the ass crack. It like goes up high and it's ruffled and kind of like sheer. It does have like kind of like a panel that covers the vagina a bit but the boob cups are literally so sheer and so fabulous and you guys know I'm all about nipples all about the titties all about you know wearing what makes you comfortable and doing you and showing what you're comfortable showing and I have absolutely no shame in my nipples so I am so excited about this little brown cutesy top this will be actually really fun I honestly think I'm gonna end up wearing this to the flea market this weekend because it's gonna be so fucking hot like hot ball sack summer has not yet ended I think I'm gonna wear this with like some low waist baggy denim shorts and a shimmy shake top to the flea so if you come to the flea you will see me in this very excited love them i will have banshee swim linked down below but i just i'm obsessed they're one of those companies that doesn't just like talk about having suits that fit like multiple body types but they actually showcase those multiple different body types like in their imagery which i think is like one of the really important things when it comes to being more size inclusive and moving in a more size inclusive direction it's not like solely just about do you carry those sizes but are you carrying those bigger sizes and then are you also like showing them on the website showing them on the instagram like actually showing what the suits look like on those bodies celebrating it because it's beautiful as shit okay moving on to the next thing which is a pair of sunnies and you guys know i mean sunnies are literally my favorite item of all time so lex ola actually reached out to me on instagram i have seen their sunglasses on miss queen dua lipa like many many times she's one of my favorite like celebrity fashion girlies and this pair of sunglasses came in this little box right here and it opens like this very very cute and then it has the little sunglass case that says Lexola on it and they let me pick out the frames I wanted and I picked out like a very you know like sexy 70s porn star man vibe I will put right here what the name of this style is but oh, they are just so good and I have a pair I have a semi similar pair that I got at an estate sale last year but as you can see they have bifocals in them so I could never really actually wear them because like I can't see but now I have these, so very excited. I literally just took Instagram pictures in these last night because I'm very much so feeling myself in them. Okay, so those are all the puck jaws I have. I do think that I might take a little trip over to Super Thrift later today, so I will obviously take you guys with me if I do that, but I thought I would give you a little look at the store that my office has become. Like, literally. <laughs> so this is one of the racks that I'm bringing to the flea market. I'm bringing two racks. We have like amazing little tops right here, some amazing like slip dresses. We have a, a cheetah one piece moment. We have tons of pairs of pants and jeans and juicy sweatpants, of course. A little Hannah Montana zip up moment. This cute little like cropped sleeveless hoodie. This Chanel bootleg moment. Just some more long sleeves, some sets, and some little tees, little Dior bootleg moment. There is a lot going on here. And then like I said, out in the living room I have a ton of stuff that's gonna go in like five and ten dollar bins I have shoes I have purses I have hats I have sunnies I have fucking everything because I'm ready to purge well I kind of already did purge my closet and I'm ready for fall fashion like I am just so ready for fall fashion here's all the fall fashion like Pinterest vibes that I'm evoking right now it's what I'm gonna low-key be like looking for at super thrift later today I let's be honest I'm going to super thrift later today because I didn't thrift all weekend um, like a good girl. I didn't thrift. I didn't go to an estate sale. I just prepped everything for the flea. So Yeah, I need to go film some ticky tockies Ticket ticket tuckies and I'll catch up with you guys In a little bit. I fucking love these sunnies. Okay, that's all and this Hooters tank Dayton, Ohio Hooters Hometown represent I found this while I was going through my closet and pulling things. Okay. Peace Queens. Okay, honey, what do we think of these capris? They're either like sick, ooh, ah, or like, what are those? Um, uh, what's the material like? Feel on there. They're like stretchy. They're a maybe. They're a maybe. This I thought would be cute just for yoga. Oh, yeah. So that's a yes. Are these cool or are these like weird? I don't like them. They're giving me like Teen Vogue 2010. 
I feel like Matthew would like them. These are my dream jeans, so I really hope they fit. They're like super old bubble gum. Those are a strict yes. I have these trousers that are Banana Republic. I don't know if they'll fit the way I want them to fit. Let me see. Yeah, I think those will fit like low waist. Like low waist and cute. We will see, we will see. Okay, these pants that literally are bedazzled on the sides and on the bottom. This was just giving me cute, like Elwood's vibes, but and I really like the color. This, I really like, there's nothing on the sides, which is kind of fun. This, sadly, I don't think Whoa. will fit me. That's a lot. It's like, it's cool though. No, it's interesting, yeah. I need to eat some dinner. Inclusivity and like helping people to feel as best about themselves as we can. Uh, did you get my email? I'm sorry. Oh yeah, no, I just read it. <laughs> You're fine. So I just got off my bi-weekly meeting with my management team. I love them so much. They are honestly just some of my favorite people in the world and they support me in my dreams and just like Natalie and Bruce are my people. Anyway, then I had a little FaceTime date with my sister and now I'm about to hop on a meeting with my manager Bruce and YouTube to kind of talk about like YouTube shorts and stuff like that. You guys are gonna be seeing a lot of YouTube shorts from me coming at you. So I am very excited about that. Let me know down below like what you guys wanna see from me more of on shorts. I just uploaded my first one that's like a thrift with me, but I wanna do more styling and like estate sale videos, kind of like the stuff I make over on TikTok, but this stuff's gonna be exclusive to YouTube shorts so I'm gonna hop on the zoom the zoomy zoom I don't have my desk anymore so I'm literally working on this little acrylic stand but yeah it's it's a day full of meetings it's a day full of dreams coming true hopefully and meetings it's Thursday I don't really know what that was. That was just my like shimmies to get myself awake. I just woke up and took a shower and it is motherfucking sheet mask time. You guys know these are my favorite sheet masks to use. I get them at Target. I keep them in the fridge. Sadly, I got this one yesterday and forgot to put it in the fridge last night. So, ugh. Alas, it will not be as fantastical and astical as normal, but I figured that we should like round out this vlog with a little uh, skincare moment, a little skincare mental health check-in moment. I'm gonna slap this mask on my face and we're gonna have a little mask chat moment, not mask chat Monday. That's a video series that I used to do on my channel. Comment down below if you remember, but we're gonna have a little mask chat moment, mask chat moment on a Thursday. Ugh. So I just wanted to like check in on the mental health front. Let me get my sheet mask situated. You know, you guys know I have depression and anxiety and those are things I've had my entire life. And they are things that I really have been working over the past couple of years to just get better at managing, uh, just to be nicer to myself during my depression episodes, to be nicer to myself when I'm experiencing extreme anxiety, just because I don't know, over the past 28, almost 29, my birthday's next month, years that I've lived on this earth, I have just realized that I went through so many of my depression episodes and so many of my anxiety spikes just being really mean to myself and bullying myself for those feelings and for those things that I was going through when those are things completely out of my control and you know all I can do is try my best to manage them take my anxiety medication talk to a therapist when that's accessible and treat myself with kindness because there's nothing that truly nothing that makes a depression episode worse than beating yourself up during it and like bullying the shit out of yourself so you guys know, I mean, I've been talking about it in a couple vlogs now that I went through like a really rough depression episode for the past like month and a half. I got back from New York at the end of June and then it really just feels like all of July I was in this just days of a depression episode. It was the hardest one, the roughest one, the lowest one that I have had in years. 
it, it was really, really hard and it was triggered by things going on with my family and my dad deciding to get, you know, engaged to a 24 year old the other week. We'll talk about that later, <laughs> which by the way, isn't me judging like age gap relationships in any way. It's me judging the way my dad prioritizes his life and just the kind of human being that he is. But you guys that know, know, um, we keep our boundaries up when it comes to toxic parents. And I feel like I, I heard about this like engagement that was happening with my dad like a month ago and I just let my boundaries down a bit to be there for my sisters and to just like opening myself up to that like side of my life, my family back in Ohio, like toxic things from my past. I think him just like getting engaged again and this time to like this person that he's getting engaged to at this point in life. I think it triggered a lot for me from like when he first left my mom and I when I was like six years old and Lexi was zero and he left for my ex stepmom, basically kind of doing the same thing he's doing now. He really likes to leave families in the dust. <laughs> but anyway, I think that really triggered my depression. I think it triggered me to go to a place of feeling like a six year old girl who was kind of first experiencing depression for the first time now at 28. I don't know if this is making any sense, but I just kind of wanted to brain dump where I've been at mentally because it's just been really hard. And during this past month and a half that I was feeling so, so depressed and so, so anxious, especially like with my endometriosis and just like other things, I'm just really proud of myself for developing the tools I have now to where I didn't really navigate this past depression episode feeling so hopeless. I knew there was a light at the end of the tunnel because there always is. When I'm going through my really low depression episodes, I feel so not myself, which is so hard for me because I love myself and I love feeling like myself. So when I don't feel like myself, I feel like I have to go grab myself back and it really frustrates me and upsets me and makes me feel like I can't show up for myself. And it's just, I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. So for me, reminding myself during my depression episodes and during those harder times mentally that I will come back to myself because I always do, like I have right now. I'm feeling so, so good, so, so, just like at ease. I feel like I got a lot of closure on the stuff going on with my family and ready to just have my boundaries back up. They are already back up, they are built, they are sturdy. And you know, this is why I don't talk to my dad. Your very friendly reminder to put up boundaries with people that you need to, even if they're related to you. Not everyone deserves access to you and your fabulous energy and the person that you are just because they are in your family or they are someone you've known your whole life. Um, that's not a rule. So do whatever you want, put your boundaries up, do what's best for you so you can take care of yourself because at the end of the day, like we have to be our own biggest advocates and our own biggest allies and take care of ourselves, cheerlead ourselves, fucking get down with ourselves. Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, yeah, I'm feeling so much better so so much better i came out the other end of this depression episode so if you're sitting there in the middle of one yourself just think of me as i don't know a little angel on your shoulder telling you i promise you will get out of it you will see the light you will feel more like yourself i am here right now but it takes time so don't be hard on yourself in the process don't be hard on yourself in the process Mental health is complicated and hard and, you know, can be just as terrible as physical illness. So take care of your fabulous self and be kind and be kind to yourself. Okay. Oh, I am just so grateful to be feeling better. You know, that's one thing depression will do for you is make you really, really grateful for the good times and the times that you really feel like yourself. So I am getting ready for the day. I'm gonna end this vlog on a Thursday instead of a Friday because I'm gonna put this up on a Friday. I have my flea market this weekend. So oh, let me know down below if you guys are coming. I'm so excited. I am really, really nervous. I'm gonna vlog the whole entire day for you guys for next week's video, but yes. Let me know down below if you liked the vlogs, if you liked the vlogity vlogs, AKA this one that you just watched. Um, do not forget that you are a beautiful ass queen no matter what doing your thing just the way you do Nobody does it like you and you're so fucking fantastic just as you are just as you are Hit subscribe down below if you're not already if you're not already and I will see you back here next week Oh to find out how my flea market goes this weekend. Wish me luck guys. Okay. I love you. Peace. Peace love and shimmies. Bye